Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Cloud Sherpas. Hello everyone, welcome to video 9 of the top 10 Sherpa tips for email administration in the context of Google Apps. So this talk is going to be about admin versus user managed groups. So this is going to be probably a little bit tricky, probably stumped a few administrators. So the distinction between admin versus user managed groups is purely about how the group was actually created. So if you are say in the control panel and you go to groups and you say create group, this will be an admin managed group and you will be able to manipulate it to your heart's content. You can use tools such as GADs to create them. Also, if a group is created via the APIs, it is admin created and thus tools such as GADs can change it to their heart's content. However, if someone is in say uh, groups.google.com and the group is created in this interface, so if I hit create group and I create a group here, this group would be a user managed group. This group would effectively be invisible to tools such as GADs if for some reason this group was created um, via the user console, or sorry, groups.google.com, but there is another group in, say, Active Directory or LDAP or somewhere else that um, has that exact same email address, GADS will continually try to recreate it, so keep that in mind. You would have to use the APIs in order to pull back information about the group, and there's a little flag. It's like, I believe it's admin created and it will be either true or false. So um, that's basically it. Um, one way that you can try to avoid this is to not allow users to create groups. And I believe that is an option in the admin console. If we go to, let's see, Google Apps, and then Groups for Business, and then we go to Advanced Settings, and then we go, yay, only domain admins can create groups. That would be how you prevent that. 